So, it was Yuli's birthday this past Tuesday. During his birthday, I was slaving away at the kitchen, making food for all of our friends, but I got to miss out on actually hanging out. So I thought, today as payback, we would have Yuli recreate the breakfast for his birthday brunch. Mini quiches, four ways. Hi guys, I'm Ulysses. Hey, this is Ernesto. And this is our channel. Welcome to our channel. What's my cash prize at the end? My dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what recipes do I need? Okay, you are gonna wanna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Easy. Easy. All right. <coughs> so, shit. <coughs> so what you want to do is create the base for the quiche, which is um, some eggs and some milk, and you whisk it away. How many eggs? So it's one egg per tin. So that is twelve eggs. 12 eggs. By the way, I'm totally not a Hufflepuff. It's my shirt. What do you guys think I am? Tell me down below in the comments. You're Ravenclaw all the way. Am I really Ravenclaw? What's Ravenclaw? What are the characteristics? They think they're better than everyone. They wear glasses. They're like very serious. Um, am I really that serious? Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put about um, three quarters of a cup of... Three quarters of a cup? Three quarters of a cup. Of milk? Of milk. So while you should be doing this, you also need to be making sure that the bacon is cooked, that the strips for the chorizo quiche, the tortilla strips are made, because all of that needs to be prepared and go into the quiche already cooked. You said tortilla? You need to make the tortilla for the tortilla strips that go into the chorizo quiche. And then you need to make the chorizo, you need to make the bacon. Um, you need to cut up the mushrooms, you need to cut up the spinach, and you need to cut up the green onions. The green onions go into the bacon quiche. I did this all by myself just a week ago. Okay, you said green onion. Do we need this pepper? Bacon, chorizo, tortilla, and cheese. And then cheese. Add it all. Oh, we have mushrooms. What do you guys think about my look today? Um, okay. Is this going to be entertaining for people to watch? How much tortilla strips do I need? Um, I use one tortilla, I believe, because really for it's both. only for, you're only going to make like three chorizo quiches, right? Okay. Okay, good. Good on your feet thinking. Remember, each, there's three of each quiche. Okay. Okay. I'm just so hungry. I got so hungry. <laughs> you're for you're forgetting the chorizo. Are you starting to cook the chorizo? Oh, uh, we have to cook the chorizo. Oh, cook the chorizo. So you want to take the bag and just squeeze it down. Ah, uh, you see that? See that? What had one of those sand effects on there? <laughs> this looks disgusting. God, this bacon smells so good. Okay. I'm making the bacon right now. I'm also uh, making the tortilla strips. Um, I'm also making the chorizo, and then I'm gonna chop up the mushrooms, green onions, uh, peppers, and sorry, I messed that. Tortillas burning! Tortillas burning! Excuse me. Get out of the kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. 
Okay. Wait, why are you making the pepper? Why are you grilling the pepper? Why not? I'm so hungry. <laughs> what are you doing? I wish we had like mimosas. Wouldn't that be fun right now? This video is sponsored by Absolute Vodka. Should we be comfortable? 10 bucks. Can we have orange juice? Oh my god. I burned the bacon. I think I burned the bacon. The bacon is done, the green onions are cut. For the chorizo quiche, the chorizo is done, and the tortilla strips are done. Bacon is burnt to a crisp. Okay, show them. Taking a little mimosa break. Here, you gotta do the hand thing for like the makeup. Ew, ew. So now what you want to do is you want to prepare the pastry. The, um, sorry, the, um, bottom of each of the quiches. Um, you essentially want the pastry little puff thing, the bread pie, what are they called? Pie crust. somehow okay okay so you so the next step obviously is to um, these are gonna go at the bottom of the quiches it's a pie crust that we're gonna cut into individual pieces um, to fit at the bottom of our muffin tin and it's the base so after you put the individual um, pieces you put a layer of cheese and then you put the egg mixture and everything more montage wait how much should I pour Assembly montage. <laughs> this is what's happening with Yuli's mess. Okay, so now you put it in the oven. Woo, that's hot! 25 minutes. Ah. All right, you guys, we'll see you in 25 minutes. Goodbye. Woo, girl! Yes, queen! Quiches! Quiches of Damn, they're huge. Oh, yes, yeah, that's what she said. I didn't put any salt. All right, you guys. So that was 25 minutes ago, and now they're done. Look at these beautiful quiches. You did such a good job, Yuli. Thank you. Okay, you guys, so that concludes this video. Like and subscribe and tell us what you think um, about these wonderful quiches. Get a close up. Oh, you know, oh my God. That's like. So stay tuned for our next video that's gonna come out in a couple of days of our first ever eating these quiches. Oh, a two part series where we Shane Dawson. <laughs> Bye guys, you look so handsome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>